Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How do you feel today? I hope you will be feeling best of health. I welcome you in my class that is an English for grade 4. We are learning unit number 10 amazing inventions. Yes my dear teachers this is lesson plan powerpoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You may click it, download it or you can amend it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Our today's lecture, lecture number 2 under the title of grammar, we will learn today adverbs and its different kinds and we will cover up page number 70. Yes, before in English for grade 4, we have already learned about kinds of adjectives. So, today we are going to get more knowledge about adverbs. Because these are also parts of speech, we are learning parts of speech and we will get knowledge about adverbs. Our today's students learning outcomes are recognize that an adverb qualifies verbs, adjectives and other adverbs. Identify and use simple adverbs of manner and time. Yes, my dear students and my dear fellow teachers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Quran, Surah al ankabut verse number 69, and those who strive in our cause, we will certainly guide them to our paths, for verily Allah is with those who who do right. Yes, my dear students, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressing in this un, uh, verse, in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressing that those are working, those are fighting in the cause of Allah just because of his greatness. So, Almighty Allah always supports them and always Allah guide them in a good way and they always do on the right path and they do good deeds. So, yes my dear students, I have circled two words there, certainly and warily. So, do you know what, what are these words? Yes, these are called adverbs. So, today we are going to learn about adverbs. Yes, my dear students, pre reading questions are there. What do you know about verb? What are adverbs? Yes, my dear teacher, pause the video and get answer from your students and then come back. Excellent way. I hope you have done it in a nice way. So, let us see what are verbs. Every action is called verb. For example, I go, drink, write, eat, speak, etc. A verb indicates action that what is being done. Yes, my dear students, what is a verb? Verb is always action. It tells us what is being done by a subject and subject can be noun or a pronoun. Suppose I am teaching you, so teach is a verb. And you are listening me, so listen is a verb, you are sitting in your class, sit is a verb. So, in this way, there are every action that we do in our daily, every moment. So, these are called verbs. Yes, what is an adverb? Let us see. A word that tells more about a verb or adjective in a sentence is called adverb. Yes, my dear students, what is an, an adverb? An adverb always qualify a verb or an adjective or in a sentence. How it qualifies? It tells us that in which manner the action is being done. In this example, you can judge that Rida speaks softly. Yes, my dear students, can you judge that Rida speaks. It is a verb and how she speaks? She speaks softly. So, this softly is showing that which manner that action in which way this action is being done by 
rida so this is called adverb it is always qualifying a verb so which which is our verb speak is our verb yes there are kinds of adverbs adverb of manner a word that tells how something happens is called adverb of manner adverbs of manner usually end in ly yes my dear students adverb of manner tells us how that action is being happened we can say that like slowly quickly in which manner that action any action is being done so that such type of adverbs are called adverb of manner and they mostly usually they end ly by ly you can see their examples of adverbs of manners are beautifully quickly speedily cleverly sharply slowly angrily happily sadly bravely etc these are all cards adverb of manners so when we talk that in happy mood so we it means we are talking happily so if we are in sad mood so we are in sad mood and we are talking or discussing something sadly so in this way that we are writing our work quickly okay she are she is writing beautifully we can use that verb that beautifully then it is qualifying a verb that how in which way the action is being done yes my dear students you can see in these examples he works quickly in this example quickly tells about the way of working same like that in previous example we have already that rida speaks softly so these examples are showing that that how an action is being done yes my dear students next is next kind is adverb of time a word that tells when something happens is called the adverb of time examples today tomorrow yesterday last week last year soon then now it is yes my dear students what is adverb of time adverb of time will tell us that when something happens in which was the time it was morning evening last day means today tomorrow so in this way it will tell us tell us time that on which time that action was being done you can see there in these examples they came to my home yesterday so it means they came to our home yesterday so that yesterday is telling us that on which time they came to my home so yesterday tells about time of coming and in this example you can judge we visited the zoo last week so last week is telling that when we have visited when was the timing it was last week and it has gone and next is adverb of place so what is adverb of place my dear students a word that tells where the action happens or takes place is called the adverb of place yes my dear students that where the action is being happened now that where is showing that that which place is there in room inside outside that where the action is being happened so that place is will show us give us the sense of adverb of place examples are there above below near far up down behind inside outside along here there etc so these all words will give us sense about adverb of place and you can just in these examples my dear students many people visited there and that there can be home that there can be school any place that they didn't mention that which place but that there is 
mentioning that that was any place when many people visited that place and there tells about the place of visit okay my dear students next example is there she is sitting outside now that outside is telling us clearly that where she is sitting she is sitting outside and it can be outside of room it can be outside of corridor in yard okay so this is these such type of words are called adverbs i hope my dear students you are enjoying the lecture no need to be bored okay just chill and enjoy the lecture yes now let's move to fun and we will enjoy it's activity time yes my dear teachers make word wall on the board adverb of manner adverb of time adverb of place place flash cards in front of students they will pick up a card read adverb and will write it in its relevant wall engage the whole class in this activity and make sure that whole class must participate in this activity yes my dear teachers perform this activity in your class and enjoy a lot during learning adverbs i'm waiting for you excellent job i hope you have enjoyed it and you now you are feeling fresh now let's move to individual activity on your book page number 80 question number 8 tick the adverb of time and encircle the adverb of manner in the following sentences yes my dear students do this activity in your class and come to me then excellent way i hope you have done it in a nice way yes what's our homework today write 10 sentences using adverbs in your notebooks yes my dear students that we have learned today about adverbs so you will write 10 sentences using all kinds that we have learned today in your notebook yes my dear teachers this is worksheet and this worksheet is given below into the description box click it download it and give it to your students in printed form and what we have learned today today we learned about adverb we got knowledge about its different kinds and their uses how we can use these adverbs and in this way we have covered up our slo recognize that and verb qualifies verbs adjectives and other adverbs identify and use simple adverbs of manner and time yes my dear students i hope you have enjoyed it and you have got knowledge maximum knowledge about adverbs see you soon inshallah stay blessed allah hafiz